mix in the who, who the starting quarterback's going to be. And I, like I said, I don't think any of these guys necessarily looked bad. McCarron looked good. Peterman looked good. Josh Allen had some ups and downs, but the good was really good. Um, oh, that first pass. That, that first deep ball that, that was just wrist. effortless. And it was pretty much where it needed to be. It was just, just a hair out of bounds. I mean... You could put some of that on Peterman and say it's inaccurate, but for me, that's not an inaccurate ball. It would literally hit his receiver directly in the hands. Maybe the receiver should have ran that up one more yard before he took his cut, so he would have been a little further away from the sideline when it was time for Allen to chuck that ball down the field. We don't know what's going on right. out there. Yeah, but I mean, that's kind of that's kind of Josh Allen in a nutshell. That was this ridiculous arm, just an incompletion. But I mean. I thought it was a ridiculous throw. He threw it from his 19-yard line to the other 19-yard line. <laughs> That's just not an incompletion that I'm upset about, and I'm no. complaining about accuracy on. No. Like when, yeah. when you when when I'm upset about incompletions and accuracy, it's balls in the dirt or balls that are way yeah, up high right. or balls that are way. And he had some some of those, but sure. then he also had the rocket to Ray Ray McLeod that yeah. was through two defenders. Absolutely, right. he did. And you know what I love about that? It was his first play. That's a backup play. It might have been an incompletion, but like Jay said, that thing was about 80 yards. Eh, what, 62. 60, 60 in the air, but it looks 80 on TV. 62 on a line. When that thing, when you're when the, when the when the camera zoomed out and the ball still disappears mm-hmm. off the screen, you know, it's 50 yards in the air, 60 yards length. It's, it was amazing. But basically what I meant by that was this, the defense is like, oh, back up, back up, new quarterback, back up, back up. Right. Yeah. So, like, don't get beat deep in a hurry with this guy right so yes there's some there's some definitely some fine tuning that needs to happen to this to this young quarterback's game but with an arm like that the defense has to spread out right maybe not maybe not laterally but vertically you got to back up that there's no doubt those safeties after that first play didn't go oh let me back up a little bit i heard about this guy yeah this is real this is for real for real so what that's not fake news what that does is it makes everything easier for the offense when everybody's got to stretch out just a little bit on defense and respect that deep ball and with ray ray mcleod and who was the guy that actually threw that he threw it to it wasn't ray ray that uh that wide receiver, anyway, it was oh, number eight. The, the second, the some, second yeah, play? some last name that I didn't really recognize. Uh, I can't recall it. The second. He's with the third team, but anyway, that dude was a speedster, you know. So you you throw that arm and a couple of speedsters out there. It might be Corey Coleman in the future when it matters, mm-hmm. you know, something like that, or Ray Ray. Um, well, maybe that dude's name was Hughes or something like that. But dude was over trucking it down the sidelines from the get. And that that's the kind of thing that helps out the offense. It spreads it. It's going to help out your Shady McCoy when he gets back in there. Well, he definitely had his ups and downs. He made a really bad play on fourth and three in the red zone, almost threw a horrible interception that would have gone for six points. Like, got to learn from that, not even throw that ball. Uh, he was like just running straight backwards, trying to get no, out he of won't, a jam. And he, he he won't throw that ball ever terrible. again in his career. Not after that. That's going to be most embarrassing film review ever. He won't make that mistake again. And he only completed nine of nineteen passes. So that's forty seven percent completion right there. But I mean, I thought he looked pretty good scrambling. He picked up solid yardage on the ground. Converted a third and eleven. Uh, had three rushes for twenty nine yards. Seemed seemed to be standing tall in the pocket. He was poised. And he can just those just some ridiculous throws. There was that one throw he's running almost straight back as, as the pocket collapsed. He just like heaves it off his back foot. It went from his own forty five yard line to uh, like forty yards in the air to the eleven yard line. And the tight the backup tight end Lee went up made a nice catch. But like just not too many people in the world can make that type of throw. Right. You just got a big athletic kid who has you know if he can hone it in a little bit and learn. And th- th- there's there's a huge upside to be had with Josh Allen, which is you can see why people were, you know, excited about this guy and why he was considered one of the the top guys because all the tools are there. It's just right. getting putting them all together and 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 making it work. I don't you know who knows if it actually will, but there's you you just saw the beginning of it that what what could be right. right. Well, you you mentioned he's six five two forty. But it's like a it's an athletic six five two forty. It's not a statue six five yeah. two forty. It's a I can run. It's I can not scramble. A Ryan Mallet exactly. It's, exactly. It's Ryan Mallet. That's a good example because he had a cannon for an arm, but he all he did was stand there. Yeah. And he, you know, so when you have the cannon for an arm and you're six five two forty and you're not afraid to run around, you're not afraid to stiff arm somebody. Then you add another element that the, all you got to do is try to make the defense think for a second. Right. Is he going to run? Is he going to you know, give me a stiff arm and, and try to take the corner because he's six five two forty. Right, like not he's not Cam, but he's big and he's strong and he's and he can run. Was, so was very impressed 
with his rushing. And when I meant by he won't make that mistake again on that throw you were talking about, that he he's going to make some horrible, horrible rookie mistakes, and he's going to make some bad passes, and he's going to throw some pick sixes, and he's going to throw some terrible interceptions. I'm talking about like falling down, not seeing his receiver, and throwing the grenade. That yeah. was like a that was a grenade toss. He won't do that again because he got heckled in in, yeah. in film room. Right. Yeah. 